guys what's up long time no see it's a little bright so you can just excuse that for a minute i've just sat you guys down <laughs> on the ground by my window actually <laughs> I feel so bad. My camera's currently like balancing on the Bible. I don't know how bright that is. My aunties are kicking and screaming right now. But I just wanted to say, hey, what's up? It's been a minute, clearly. It always is a minute with me, isn't it? <laughs> Those of you that continue to describe, to describe, to describe, to subscribe are literally my faves. And since being back, I've met so many just people coming up to me saying they love my channel so if any of you are watching thank you you're <laughs> partially the reason i'm making this video i've missed this and i just thought i've just come out of therapy <laughs> same old same old um and i was just like i really miss creating bro and i haven't really given you guys a life update and i'm the kind of person that tries to get everything so perfect and i was like what i'm just getting in my own way so i'm just gonna sit on my floor in my pajamas <laughs> and talk to you guys see how you are let you guys know how i am if you care here's a little life update and also just tell you some a few things that have been on my mind where i've been etc etc so uh what a year huh <laughs> No, I really loved 2021. I've hated it, but I've loved it. It's It's been the most painful year, but I've grown the most. Not only did I suffer the most traumatizing breakup of my life, but I left university and felt like I had no sense of direction. <laughs> It's been a big year for me and to come out the other side of that, I think it's very important that for any of us that have been through a lot this year, we just pat ourselves on the back. No matter how big or small actually, we made it. We made it. If you're new here, we get very deep on this channel. So if that's not your vibe, as you guys know, I don't know if you watched my old, my latest vlog. Since I've been back, a lot of cool things have happened to me. Got a job by God's grace. I got a radio show by God's grace. And life just seemed to get so crazy. And also adjusting here has also been a lot, but in a good way. I'm happy to be home. I'm not gonna lie, my serotonin is up. It being December and the sun is out. It's actually like literally 25 degrees outside. I don't know why I'm in such a heavy jumper, hoodie rather. So yeah, the sun being out and not having seasonal depression has been chef's kiss. Outside of that, work has been my priority because obviously it's where I get money. <laughs> it's funding everything of mine. Well, not everything because I still live at home, but my lifestyle. <laughs> As you can see behind me, there's a suitcase. I'm going to coast tomorrow morning. No! With my girls. So I don't know if I'll take you along. This might be, this actually might be the coast vlog. It probably is. I also wanted to talk about very quickly. I know this, this is long, but I haven't talked to you guys in a while. I also want to talk about really quickly about expectations and coming back from uni and thinking you're going to get a job very easily or everything is going to fall into place so easily. And I think a Kenya, if you don't know a Kenya, search her in YouTube, great content. I think a Kenya made a video about this actually, just saying how we all have this idea of how post uni will be or how our lives in general will be and it never quite is exactly that some things will be different for the better and for the worse for me yes i'm one of the lucky ones that managed to get a job i've had so many people come up to me like wow you're doing amazing you're doing great and I appreciate that, but it doesn't feel like that because I'm still not where I want to be. But then it's like looking a gift horse in the mouth. My point is like, roll with the punches. Don't have this perfect idea of exactly how your life should be going right now. As long as you're trying, you're doing your best because so many people around me are so lost right now, me included, about what we want to do, where we want to go, is what we're doing right now even going to amount to anything? like is employment for me so much and there's so much pressure i feel to get it right but if we don't get it wrong now we'll be making far more mistakes when we're older and that's okay <laughs> our parents make mistakes older people make mistakes as well like mistakes are for everyone but try and fail now experiment now go out on a whim and just do what you've always wanted to do like i have a friend that hates uni hates uni and doesn't know a way out there's always a way out, always. Or there's a friend that hates their job, quit. Obviously, we don't know what's gonna happen. Nothing is 
promise quit but obviously quit with a plan you know say okay if i'm not even sure okay yeah i want to leave uni but i'm not one i'm not sure what i want to do travel go go volunteer in freaking tibet or something do you know what i mean do something worthwhile that also allows you to think and breathe and because when i came back from uni i hit the ground running i haven't had time to think and or to breathe which is very ironic because that's the entire reason i left uni so what is it that i'm doing cami i just want to let people know that we're gonna be okay we still have time there's always time even though it feels like time is running out there's time i just felt like i needed to get that off my chest i don't even know if it made any sense but i've missed you guys feels good to talk to y'all see ya <sighs> i know i know i know that you're drunk yeah tell me what you want out of this drunk you know you're national you have the pleasure of welcoming your brother to the street with 130 by the department of the street with my baby on the side of the street i have been given a 65 minutes of the street I've arrived in Vianney. Yo, it is so hot. Like, y'all weren't kidding about how hot Diani is right now. Crazy. Oh my god. I just caught a breeze. Unfortunately, the villa we're staying in doesn't have AC, it only has fans because of how open it is. I'm pleasantly surprised with our villa. Not gonna lie, like, I wasn't keen before. You know, sometimes my standards can be a bit too high, but I am very pleasantly surprised with like the overall vibe the overall vibe of the place i've just turned off the lights because it's during the day and you don't need lights so i'm about to give you a tour so this right here is my room i'm not sure if i'm sharing i'm probably sharing with ivy oh i haven't <laughs> i haven't even explained who i'm here with what i'm doing why my hair is messy on a coast trip when everyone gets their hair done for coast not this girly this girly is just here to have fun and vibe so i'm here obviously for new year's with my girl so that's ivy shiko c and layla um you've all met them before you've met them all before if you're if you're not new here if you're a subscriber but if you're new here my best friends so yeah i was the first to arrive my flight <laughs> we all got different flights because the flights were being booked up so fast and this was like back in what like october november no september october and all of the flights are going so quick so like we just could we just got whatever flights we could find and that meant i would get here first and i really like that my flight was at 8 30 to land here at 9 30 we took off at 9 kenyan timing landed here at 10 my friend picked me up from the airport we went for di uh, dinner guys no this heat is making me delirious we went for breakfast and they so kindly dropped me here to my villa so i can chill do you guys like my little bikini wrap oh my god let me show you so it is everything i also got it in white my mom got me this as a christmas present so it's like a little bikini wrap you know just to be decent around the pool and you can see the bikini under girl feeling fresh feeling fine it's from lacy curves on instagram amazing service amazing quality i just love them yes yeah, so i also got in a white thank you mother for christmas um yeah so now house tour villa tour whatever since we're only five of us we got a little villa so this is my room that i think i'm sharing with ivy it's a very like swahili like old school swahili house you know what i mean little accents very old school this is the bathroom it's quite dark in here actually for midday there's no light that gets in here and then there's a conjoining room so two of us will have to share this lovely big bathroom which i honestly don't mind it's quite big i really should have shown you from downstairs but we'll just do top down so this is what it looks like when you come out guys i love it it's so like swahili vibes like with the hatch truth or whatever that's like i think the reception area that's the pool i'll show you in depth later and yeah so we have this whole place to ourselves so this is my room that we just came from that's downstairs we'll get there in a minute this is the other room my friend said like she prefers this one but i like how open that other one is this one is prettier but the other one is like open so yeah this is the second room and of course, 
the bathroom I just showed you. These are my white toes. I'm already tan. Why do I already feel tan? Yes, this is where we're gonna vibe. And then down the stairs. Down we go. But in there is a kitchen. Now, I think that's the one drawback about this place. I don't like the kitchen. It's very dated. I don't like it. So, this is where we'll be having breakfast. So, there's like no door entrance or anything. Like, it's literally all open. So, I drove up there with my friends, came up, and then boom as i was being shown as i was being shown up i was like where's the door to the place and he was like this is the place so this is our like living room area the little tv and wi-fi i still don't have the wi-fi password you get that and then the downstairs room this is honestly the best room not gonna lie and i know our commander in chief c will get it oh my god I'm gonna be here taking pictures see it's a nice little area with their own bathroom that's basically the house tour hope you guys like it i didn't think i would but i really like it so this is the kitchen it's cute but you see what i mean guys it's just dated which is okay it's okay you know we're chilling we're vibing we're not too high maintenance <laughs> As you can see, I have my lone pearl earring. I lost my favorite drop pearls somewhere on the plane. I'm so upset. Rest in peace, bud. For now, I'm just gonna chill, wait for my friends. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hi guys, it's actually the next day. I am, oh, hi Keith. <laughs> I'm wearing the same cover-up but a different red swimsuit. I didn't realize I have a thing for red guys One person told me I look good in red and I've run with it. Anyway, I did not vlog the rest of yet the rest of yesterday Does that make grammatical sense? Yes, I did not vlog the rest of yesterday after our little villa tour because it, it's been like the first time in years Me and my girls have all been together and I didn't want to run and get my camera. All we did was Excuse me. All I did. All we did was chill in the pool, catch up, and then we ended up going to meet up with some other friends. But today we are going on. What are we going on? Dolphin safari. We're going on a dao. I I don't think I've ever been on a dao in Diani. I've been in Lamu and I've been in Kilifi, but not in Diani, which is weird. So yeah, we're gonna have full experience. We're gonna sail somewhere, and I'm gonna bring you guys along. And as I said, I am wearing the same motherfucking cover up as yesterday. What about it? What about it? Bye. Okay, so story time. We got scammed. <laughs> that beautiful dial I was talking about that we we're gonna go on. Nope, that didn't happen. We were scammed out of our money. As you can see, my friends were just not having it at all all because we had to be on the speedboat thingy you see ivy's even asleep we had to be on the speedboat thingy instead of our luxury dow for hours <laughs> i'm dead at shiko's face just then but you know we were trying to keep positive you know keeping that smile up i'm lying like i was negative the whole time but look at the dolphins at least we got to see the dolphins not gonna lie dolphins kind of creep me out i think they're pretty to look at but would i swim with them no and i used to love dolphins anyway i'm going on a tangent but point is we got scammed but we made the most of it you guys do not to zoom in do you guys not to zoom in huh? do you to zoom in I'm just trying to find the zoom but i can't Hi guys, um, I have been the worst vlogger on this trip but I'm not even mad because most of it was just spent spending time with friends and running up and down and being in places that I honestly cannot safely bring out my vlog camera. So, sorry, this coast vlog is a little patchy. Um, what was the last thing I vlogged when I came back from Wasini? No, I need to tell you guys how we got freaking scammed. Like, we were meant to go on a beautiful dow, you know, go snorkeling, have lunch in the dow. Um, but no, they gave us this little, like, dinghy. And we got scammed out of our money and we didn't even snorkel, but still it was a good time, good vibes, whatever, whatever. Chris, Chris, say, what it do? What it do, what it do, what it do? 
Yeah. Material girl. Material girl. Material girl. Material girl. You know what, yeah? You know what, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate the comments vlog. You know what, yeah? <laughs> Crazy things are happening. Crazy things are happening. <laughs> if you write about it, hey, if you hey, 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 my shit. Hey, Hey guys! So we're all just now getting ready to go out. The main event, the reason we're all here. It's New Year's Eve, I can't believe it. It's the last day of 2021. I feel like I should be reflective and all of that stuff, but I'm in such a like party mood that I can't do it. Guys, do you like my bikini? This is my favorite bikini. It's white, let me show. Oh. If I show you my full body, I'm gonna get demonetized. So never mind, never mind. But I wish I could show you my full bikini. It's actually my favorite thing. Anyway, as you saw from the last couple clips, more of our friends came. They were staying in Vipingo, and now they've come down to join us. It's honestly such good vibes. And one of our friends is playing tonight at midnight. Crazy. I will not take my vlog camera out because am I silly, am I dumb? Do I wanna put my vlog camera on the beach with sand? No, absolutely not. But I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far. I know it's been a bit all over the place, but we're having the best time. So I hope you guys are feeling us having a best friend. Like, I hope you're feeling it vicariously through me. So I need to just do my brows because no makeup and coast. I made that mistake the first night. I even, I just put a bit of concealer. I did my mascara, blush, brows. I said, everything was melting off. I was looking like a sad clown, no. <laughs> My accent has definitely become more Kenyan the more time I spent here and I low-key love it. But anyway, I'll see you guys at the party. is over i am not okay i think we all need a support group for those of us that went to coast and now have to come back and deal with life because now all i have left is this tan to remind me of the good times that's so dramatic Cammy. anyway good morning everyone it's been a day since i've been back from coast what a trip <laughs> what an actual trip oh my gosh happy new year and my camera bash is flashing so let me make this out real quick i think coast was the best way to end the year to end a very big year for me i got to end it with my friends and i just feel very blessed and now it's back to life back to reality and that's just the way life goes i don't know how i'm feeling about 20 22 actually i do know how i'm feeling i'm feeling very driven very excited for the prospects but you know with that comes a bit of anxiety thinking oh there's a lot to get done i'm excited i'm excited to get shit done this year as you can hear i still don't have my voice back from coast which is concerning but at least i'm negative literally the first thing my mom made me do when she walked in the house was like take a test because she like bought the rapid test and thankfully i was negative so yeah happy 2022 guys i hope this year is full of blessings things for all of you i hope it brings just joy and memories and abundance and everything you want everything you deserve i should say have a good one guys i love you so much i can't wait to see what 2022 has in store for this channel and you know subscribe if you like my vibe <laughs> i love you guys and i'm about to get my braids done finally bye guys Baby, I'm <laughs> Let me get that in your door. We all know.